Hey guys, what is up? Shadowlands back with another review. Today I'm going to be doing a weapon that I have been putting off for literally over a year and a half. I got this weapon for the first time at the end of 2011. This is the Golden Punisher. A lot of you guys saw that I got uh, two seven-day variants of it um, out of several of my... Uh, uh, cases that I got back at the end of 2011, I got a whole bunch of Kalika cases and I got it out of those. Now to be honest, although I do relatively well with this weapon, I get a good streak, I'm not actually that good with a double barrel. I have never been good with any double barrel variants, as you guys saw during my uh, uh, other reviews uh, that are similar to double barrels, the Confederate and so on. Uh, I'm kind of spacing out here a little bit because there's a lot of heavy, heavy wind blowing outside. You guys probably can't hear it with this microphone, but it's kind of like making me look to the left every few seconds, so uh, I'm kind of freaking out a little bit, but I don't like high wind. So Anyway, going over stats of this weapon, damage of 90, very, very high. Portability of 81, rate of fire of 17, recoil of 53. Now, this is considered to be the best version of the double barrel including uh, over the Confederate. Obviously, it's an NX Rare, and it's gold, and it's not the same one from Cabin Fever, so uh, it's not that good, unfortunately. <laughs> it can't one-shot zombies. Now, most people don't even bother with the uh, left click on the double barrel. Most people just go straight with the right click and try to get the kill off that. Now, this thing does have quite a bit of ammo. It has 2 of 20, so it's got plenty of shots. You can do that little trick 11 times, which should be a minimum of 11 kills if you are good with your aim and you are close enough. Now, the whole difference between the goal, uh, the advancements of the double barrels, excluding the Confederate barrel, which actually does have an increase in damage from 90 to 91, is the effective range. If you look at the original double barrel, it has a relatively short range, which is kind of sad, and the silver is slightly higher, and the Punisher is the same as the silver, I do believe, maybe even slightly a little higher. The Golden Punisher has a greatly increased range uh, for killing one shot, as you guys saw during the Junk Fleet OMA, but, or sorry, Junk Fleet Elam game. I'm just not very good with this weapon in general. I've never been good with these. I'm good with a lot of shotguns, but this is not one of them, and, uh, a lot of the reasons people give this gun a lot of grief is because it's very small, you can hide around corners, it will not stick out, in fact, your hand is going to stick out more than the gun will. Uh, now the strategy you guys see me doing here, there's two common strategies with the Double Barrel series. The first one is to have a relatively high power weapon with a, at least a few shots, like, you know, six shots or more is usually fine, that you can fire at a relatively high rate, so something above 40 damage. Now, there are not a lot of guns like that. The M1911 series is fine. The USP series is usually fine. I'm using the pocket revolver. But you want something that has some good accuracy where you can finish off a person no matter how badly they tank after a shot of double barrel because it's incredibly hard to tank a second shot of double barrel. And although the uh, Golden Punisher has quite a bit of... has quite a fast reload, just you need to have that pistol to switch out really fast to clean off. Now, I personally prefer the USP. I thought I would go with the pocket revolver because I haven't used it in a while, and it used to be my favorite pistol, and then I just kind of stopped using it. I used to be a complete monster with it, and then I just kind of stopped using it. Like, I could literally go and grab a Fantastic in a game with a pocket revolver, and it would just really piss people off. It's like a two- or three-shot kill, so it's not the most efficient gun in the game, but it's a lot of fun to use. And in my personal opinion, it's the best of all the revolvers outside of the... Uh, uh, Anaconda Silver or the Python. I still prefer the Python over it, to be completely honest, but anyway. Uh, maybe that's just because I like the sniper scope. Going back over stats, though, I'm really sorry about getting off topic here. has a portability of 80, so it is incredibly portable. It is among the most portable shotguns in the game, if not the most. Rate of fire of 17 doesn't really matter because you need to reload after every shot, so that's kind of, you know, it's like a sniper that way. Uh, it's kind of like having a big shot in my opinion, so if that's what you want to call it. Recoil doesn't really matter because you're wasting all your shots in one thing and then you're kind of reloading it. I did mention that there was a second strategy that people use with the double barrels, and this is honestly the more more commonly used one, is a person will buy the silver, the regular double barrel, and either have this weapon or the uh, uh, Punisher. And most people have the Punisher, other people, if they're lucky enough, have this gun. But what they'll do is they'll quick switch between all their Punishers and then just switch out because they have incredibly fast draw rates. Possibly the fastest draw rate in the game, and the Golden Punisher has an even faster one, which is crazy. Obviously, it's in the next rare, it's going to have some special perk. So, if you're able to get your uh, hash on them with the draw speed, if you're able to quick switch, you pull it out and get the hash back on them real fast and get out your second shot, you usually can get lots of kills in really fast. Now, there's two ways you can do that. You can either switch between two and use the uh, right click and get uh, the double shot out at once, or you can uh, quick switch and use just the single shot a couple of times. And that's honestly what I prefer to do, but I don't 
I didn't think about using a second uh, revol. Uh, sorry, I was about to say revolver. A second Punisher or a second double barrel. I just wanted to do the review on this one so that you guys could see the power on this one. Now, personally, I don't like this weapon because it has among the worst damage drop-offs in the entire game. Although it does have higher uh, uh, effective range than the other Punishers, all other you know double barrels, including the Confederate. It has higher than the Confederate. I did confirm that. The Confederate does have the extra one point per damage average of for each pellet, I should say. Uh, this one does not, so the damage on the Confederate. If you're looking for damage, go with the Confederate. If you're looking for the range, go with the Golden Punisher or the regular Punisher. Both of them are relatively fine. Um, I'm so pro here. I get my double headshot. I'm so pro. I killed two AFKs. Woo! Anyway, um... <laughs> And I got a headshot on that somehow. Anyway, I don't have a whole lot more to say about this. If you want to figure out how a double barrel works, just go buy the basic GP1. Uh, that way you can at least see how the gun works. And if you really like it, then yeah, probably go for this gun. If you're the kind of person that likes that kind of stuff. There's a guy in our clan, Ross. I miss this guy like a million times. I don't know how I do this. This is like fail and more fail. But... <laughs> going back on that a guy named Ross in our clan loves the double barrel and he's a monster with it. like I have no idea how he got so good with it you'll see Sniff in this game too he actually did recently leave the clan just because he got tired of everyone he, he described it as he got tired of everyone being so nice like everyone would hop on and say hi Sniff not like because he's a YouTuber everyone would just be really nice I guess that's just kind of the way I don't know people in our clan work, I guess, but, like, they do that when I log on, and when almost anyone, the admins log on, they're just like, hi, what's up, come play with us, and, like, I guess he just wanted to be alone to play video games, and honestly, I'm kind of the same way, so I don't blame him, um, if he ever decides to rejoin, obviously, he's always welcome here, but, uh, I hope you're watching this video, Sniff, but, <laughs> maybe I'm sucking up a bit here, I don't know, but, anyway, I've been talking with him on Skype, and he's a really cool guy, so, I mean, I enjoy talking with him, too, although he's a busy guy, and so am I, so we're not always, always free, so, which is why I guess when he wants to get on video games, and for the same with me, we just want to get on and play. We don't necessarily want to be harassed by everyone. Now, I love clan warring, so I love hanging out with my clan and doing that stuff. That's just what I find fun, so that's how I get my kicks. But it looks like I'm about out of time for this review, guys. This gun is entirely on your own personal preference. It's not a bad gun by any means. I, I just suck with it, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to rate it fairly. I'm probably going to give it like an 8 out of 10 or something like that. I really don't know how to rate a double barrel because it's such a unique weapon with such a unique purpose. I just can't think of a good way to rate it, so I apologize if I offend anyone by making it like a 8 or 8.5 out of 10 or something like that. I'm not going to give it a 9, and I'm probably not going to drop it to a 7, so just saying overall it's a fun gun to use and i respect the people who use it because they know how to use it and i suck with this weapon uh maybe i'm being a bit biased there but anyway thank you guys for watching this review please rate comment subscribe keyword on the subscribe please watch a few more videos i'd really appreciate that and i will see you guys in the next review shadowlance out